Hello, back again to do another unboxing and review. Today we're going to be looking at this brand new universal external snap-on active cooler for your smartphone. Now that's kind of a mouthful, but basically what it comes down to is it's going to use electricity, and through the use of electricity, it's going to um, kind of power three different elements. We'll get into what those kind of features are, but those three different elements are going to help cool down your phone. And as your phone stays cool, it's able to perform better by not having the phone throttle down performance because it's cool, doesn't need to, and therefore your gaming experience or movie watching or whatever you're doing will be more enjoyable. So this particular um, unit comes from a company called Basius. So about Basius, they're a company, they're based in Shenzhen, China, I'm pretty sure. And this is part of their product line GAMO, which is that GAMO or GAMO. Anyway, you let me know in the comments. This particular um, device model number is GA06. All right, so I'm going to now show you the specs of this. I kind of printed out on a sheet here, and um, I kind of highlighted the, you know, the features and kind of cleaned it up a little so it's easier to read. And I'll be scrolling that by the camera right now. All right, so brand basis model, we already covered that. Okay, now as far as what phones it'll work with, you're going to use your phone obviously in landscape mode. So once you turn it into landscape mode, the then up and down dimensions um, can either be 68, or sorry, 67 to 88 millimeters, or if you have a phone that's only 59 to 80 millimeters wide, then you'll have to use the included silicone pads, which are attached to the inside of the hooks, and we'll see that later. So. Yeah, those are the different ranges your phone can be and still uh, work with this device. Okay, so here we go. Purpose of three. Okay, so it's a three in one active cooling unit. So I kind of spoke about earlier, there's three different like elements or features that allow this to get cool. So the obvious one's a fan, um, and a lot of cooler devices have that. But what makes this one better is that it also uses heat dissipation coating and semiconductors. Now, if you're not familiar, there's a a, a phenomenon, I believe it's called the Peltier effect, and basically you're running electricity through two different semiconductors, and there's a junction in the middle, and because it's two semiconductors are slightly different in their properties, it makes one side hot and the other side cold, and of course the side that's going to be made cold is the one we're going to have touching the phone. So that's a real brief rundown, but that's kind of what's going on here. Okay, so anyways, and then there's the power source, You're going to, it's wired, so now that means you will have to have it connected to like a power supply or maybe plugged into a wall but I actually think this is better because it keeps the actual device lighter so it doesn't weigh down your phone and yeah all right and of course with the power supply you'll have more game time because it's yeah you can have more in a power supply anyway um, contact patch notice that that's quite large which is good right more cooling then um, connection method, um, so we are. that's how it connects to the phone. It has these spring-loaded retracting hooks, kind of like a spring-loaded clamp. We'll see that obviously when we get it out of the box. A material, it's made out of polycarbonate, aluminum alloy, and silicone. And then there's your, um, I'll let you read, current. There's the size of the device and then the weight. All right, so now let's get to the advanced features because um, this is, I actually think this is kind of a big selling point of this. And these are the ones I picked out to highlight. Okay, so we have the advanced features. The fan and cooling plate can operate separately of each other, automatically controlling, controlled by the device. So that's cool. It essentially can monitor and that also helps in saving power because if it doesn't need both of those things running, it can shut off one to maintain. You get it. All right. Automatic anti-condensation. So what that means is it turns off the cooling plate once temp, a certain temp is reached. So as you know, con condensation, you get that, it starts making water, <laughs> and you don't want water next to your phone. Um, so this will stop, avoid that from happening by controlling the temperature. All right, and then auto shutdown due to fan obstruction. Pretty self-explanatory, but if um, something gets lodged in there, it's not going to fry out the motor because it's going to know and stop. So it has some self-preservation. That's cool. Auto shutdown due to cold and no load condition. So, all right, and cooling ducts on all four sides. So others only have them like on the left and right. This one has it on all four. You can see why that would be better. All right, digital temperature display. And uh, especially when you're importing something from overseas, it's always good to have the option of having it in Fahrenheit. All right, so let's take a look around the box here. So you've seen the front. You can see it now up close. Okay on this side here, some little 
info icons All right, go to the other side. These are the specs here. I already showed you on the sheet, and I checked they do match. All right, then here's kind of what's included in the box. All right, so some cool pictures. So yeah, there's you can see, and they're showing you, it does show in fact Fahrenheit. Um, and now here, this picture is cool, but I want to show it, um, blow it up so you can see, because it's a really cool exploded diagram. So I'm going to put here in the video um, a picture uh, from Basius. This is part of their promotional material. So here it is. Okay, so there you go. Triple cooling technology and excellent. All right, so now what side have we seen? Um, let's go to the back. Yeah, let's see how it's used. All right, so then let's talk about some of these seals. Now, I know some people, they think, who cares, right? But since I do shop overseas quite often, um, when you start selling seal, seals such as a QC, but probably even more important, um, you have these um, I don't know, seals of uh, official brand, right? And this one has one of those things we can scratch off and see that it's a legit product from the company. Um, so this is actually quite big because then you know you're getting the real deal and not some knockoff clone. So, so that's good. And then there's a QR code, which I assume takes you to the website or whatnot. We have a barcode there. And then on the bottom, nothing. On the top, you have a retail hanger here. This retail hanger is... Hmm. It's not paper, it's kind of like a, a vinyl, I believe, um, so kind of like plastic. So yeah, that should more than hold up to being taken on and off the shelf, unlike the paper ones that rip and then the item falls down off the hanger. That isn't going to be a problem here, so that's good. And all right, so let's get to the general impressions of the package. All right, so the packaging, I like it. So first of all, that's me tapping pretty hard, and look at no deformation. So, yeah, it's nice and sturdy, protects the item inside. Now let's talk about the size of the box. I can get a good grip of it with just one hand. And why that's, and I think a plus here, is because think about the item. It's something that you're going to be carrying with you. It being um, easy to grab, hold, and small and compact is all a plus. And even without opening the item, just the, even with the box, I can get that in my brain that, yeah, this is compact. Look, at I'm already holding it. So... That's it. Okay, now let's talk about the colors. Um, I like the fact, of course, they're using this black, which is kind of, you know, to make it hardcore, serious, and all that. And so I think that works okay here, you know, try to push this whole, you know, gaming type thing. So that makes sense. I like how they have this uh, kind of, it's a different uh, kind of, if you look at it, reflects light different. So you can kind of, and if you look closely here, you can even see they even have this little book design here in the back. You might have not noticed that right away, but as you pick it up, you notice more and more things, and that uh, generates interest. So then, of course, well, well, what else did I see? So then you give it a second look, right? Those little tricks. All right, and then what else? Okay, these are uh, info um, icons, great. They're both in Chinese and English, so they double uh, the amount of people that can understand uh, what this item has to offer. And I do like the fact they put the specs here and they even tell us uh, what's included. So I think they did a great job with this packaging, and um, so, so far, everything's looking good. Now let's get to the unbox. All right, so as far as it being sealed, uh, they had it uh, secured with these two uh, circle stickers. They're textured and they even have this little easy to grab uh, portion, which makes them easy to peel back. So I've done that. Now I'll go ahead and pull this little tab back here. And now it should open. Okay. We have more, looks like a plastic tray. So more support for the device inside. Okay, so it all comes out on this tray. Nothing left in the box. Put that aside. All right. So there's the item. Looks like it's in one of these maybe anti-static type bags. On the bottom. Oh, okay. So it there. Oh, there's two different uh, sections. So top section has the item. Bottom section most likely has the paperwork and accessories. So. 
Okay, so we have this cool thing here. Oh, I don't know. Is that a mascot or something? All right, maybe these are like stickers. Let's see. Yeah, they're like stickers. Okay, cool. And here we have, I'm assuming, instructions and warranty card. Instruction booklet. Okay, so this side's obviously in Chinese. This side here is in English. There we go. Let's get a quick idea. Okay. Here's, um, I'll flip the side I can read here. <laughs> yeah, warranty policy. So this is most likely a warranty card. And, all right. So we have the USB-C type cable. And then it looks like those silicone pads. Let's look at the cable first. Okay, so yes, it is, in fact, type C. There you are. The cable feels to be pretty robust. I'll take that off. So you do get a decent amount of length. Yep. So, which is good because you'll probably be connected to a power supply so you don't have to have it necessarily right underneath where you're holding the phone. Okay, and I'll texture on here. Yeah, it's, you know, well, it looks like it feels pretty grippy. So, good. Seems like a good quality cable. All right, now let's get to these little pads here. Okay, so you can see they look like little shoes. I'm assuming the, um, what do you call it, bracket, the, the top and bottom, the clasp, or what a prong, go in here probably, and then there you go. Of course, you get two of them. So, all right. Okay. So that was for those who have the not or more narrow phones. Okay, now let's get to the actual item here. Send it nice and secure. Right, so I have to dig it out. All right, that was not going to fall out on its own. So, okay, so it is in one of these bags. Take that off. And there it is. And uh, in this one, both looks like the top goes up and the bottom, which is always nice. So you can center it better. Some of the not so good quality ones, yeah might only have one of these go up and down but this one has both so that's great all right then there that looks to be where the display is for the temperature oh, okay so that's probably the top so it's <laughs> probably like this so there you go we got the top and then on the bottom we have the switch and because the writing is super small in here I'll tell you all the way to the left is off middle is auto and then all the way over is turbo. So three position switch there. And um, there's even a little protector on the screen where the temperature will be displayed. Yeah, and then if you want to look at this back surface here. Hey, there's actually something written on here. I'm going to look and try to read what it says. It won't come up on video most likely, so I've got it. It says, um, oh, okay, it says, please remove the protective film before uh, use. So, yeah, you want to take this off. And uh, to do so, there's a little tab right up here. See it? So you can grab it easier. All right, I think you see it right there. Okay. So I'll uh, make sure to do it. I'm glad I read that. <laughs> All right, so there it is. It feels kind of like you'd expect. I will say it actually um, feels a little more... Hmm. Okay, you saw the exploded diagram from earlier, so you can definitely, those um, plates that are over here, that really do give this structure. So even though this part here is more cagey, or you could, as you could say there's more open space here, um, this up here makes up the weight. So I guess what I'm saying is it's not super light, Although it might look kind of light, it isn't. Well, we earlier I um, put up how much this weighed. So, but yeah, so it does feel pretty. Yeah, and this oh, I should talk about this up here, which you see these bars. These are plastic. So, 
yeah, so this is where all the plastic is, and of course, back here is where your metal is going to be. Oh, uh, I should show you the um, clasps here. So this is without the extra or the supplied. So the ones that are on the device permanently are right here, and they are have that kind of rubber silicone, right? And of course, there's one on the bottom too. But if you have one of those more narrow or slim phones, not slim in thickness, but slim in side to side, you may have to use these here. So you can slip those over like that. And then this one on the bottom, of course. And now you can see. So now the space between here is decreased. There's an up close shot of what those look like. All right, so I thought I'd tell you how I plan to test out the new cooler here. So I'm going to test the cooler on this phone. This is the LG V20. I picked this phone not only because I use it for a lot of my tests, but it's going to be a good phone for this particular test because the back here is metal. Uh, keep in mind, this was, the, I think, the last phone, or at least flagship phone, where you could change out the batteries by simply removing the back cover without needing to pry it open and all that stuff. It actually was meant for you to change batteries. So I have a, a fresh battery in there. I've charged up the phone. And since the back here is metal, it should really uh, help in the whole transferring of heat. So we'll see just how well this can actually cool it down. Uh, also, a cool little tidbit um, is the cable that comes supplied with this cooler is also data. It's not just power. So I suppose if you lost your Type-C cable, you could go ahead and use this to not only charge your phone but also power the device that's meant to power the cooler so okay um, with that being said um, we'll go ahead and attach this to the back of the phone just to show you how it fits here all right so there it is attached to the phone you can see I'm not needing to use the extra silicone pads with this phone since it has a pretty large display all right and then here's what it looks like on the back So far looking good. All right, so here we go. Before we get to attaching it to a phone, and I will be testing it obviously with a phone, that will be coming next. But what I want to do first is go ahead and just test the device all on its own to see what it can do. So kind of like a naked run on just the device. So what I have out here are the things I'm going to use for our first test here. So I have the power bank, all right? And it's quite a large one, so we'll have more than enough power. I don't want that to be the reason it didn't perform as well as it could. So that's what the power bank's for. And here, this is a contactless thermometer, so you can guess what I'm going to be doing with that. Uh, and I will be taking, for this particular test, I'll be taking the temperature on the cooler pad and then corresponding that with the temperature uh, displayed on the back. Now, um, keep in mind, I have already switched this over to Fahrenheit. Um, it'll tell you how to do that in the instructions. Okay, now, and the last thing over here is a timer. I'm going to set this for one minute. I'm only going to run this test for a minute and take a temperature before we start and then a minute later. Now you might ask, only a minute? Well, the reason why is I kind of want to see you know, how this thing does like off the line, right? I'm sure if we could like, run it, it would get even cooler or whatnot, but I think that first minute is a good idea of just how fast it can get up and running. Okay, so uh, let me go ahead and uh, set up. All right, so here we go. I'll take the temperature before we start. Okay, that came up as 76 degrees even. All right, I have this thing set to auto mode. I'm only going to be testing this using auto. All right, and then let's go ahead and plug it in. So you can see it says 73 there. And start the timer. All right, that's a minute. All right, so it says 64. Um, turn it off. Take the temperature. 66 degrees. All right, pretty close. All right, so I got done running the test uh, using the phone. And I've collected the data, put it in this spreadsheet, and then I made up. And then I also um, did some calculations. Actually, the spreadsheet did the calculations. I made the formulas, and we got some results. So let's go through. So 
I have two main I have two conditions here no cooler and with cooler okay now what does a play session entail it's 17 minutes of me playing shadow fight 3 and no I'm not sponsored by the people that make shadow fight 3 it's just I chose that as a game to try out and for this test so all right um, with that being said I did have ads if the ads came up I just let them run and then there's the um, I had this oh, okay I was playing in a dark room so the screen uh, wasn't as bright as it could have been but all right now uh, let's get there so you can see here um, on the no cooler condition I have two runs all right so and each run of course has a before and after play and I took the temperatures in these locations on the back of the phone all right let's see there you are all right so let's come over here so the average temperature of course averaging all the different temps from the different locations on the back of the phone I got 86.17 before playing and then after playing it was at 95.89 so I went ahead and took the change or delta here and so we have 9.72 so that means that this phone heated up 9.72 degrees after playing that 17 minutes and then I did the whole thing again um, and this time the heat increase was 13.11 so I took the average of these two numbers here and got this so the average change in temperature when I'm running with no cooler it, after 17 minutes of playing Shadow Fight 3 is 11.42 degrees okay let's go down to the with cooler right so same deals before um, two I did two runs and I took the temperatures before and after and here we are so on the first run you can see there we uh, had an average change in temperature of only 6.72 and then the second run the heat only went up by 4.67 so that means the average heat increase when I'm playing with the cooler on is only 5.69 so now I bet you can guess what I'm gonna do I'm gonna compare these two and then there it is so the expected temperature fluctuation is reduced by 5.72 degrees Fahrenheit if I use the cooler all right so I thought some people would be curious about the fan noise so I'm just gonna do a quick run here I'm gonna start off with it in auto and then move it up to turbo mode and we got the camera really close so the mic should pick up the sound so here we are starting in auto Move it up to turbo. Alright, so before we get to the conclusion, I just want to go over a few disclaimers. The first is that I've only used this device for as long as it took to make this review. So, will it work a few months down the road, a year, two years, three years maybe? Not sure, but as of right now, it's working fine. Okay, number two. As you saw, um, I took the temperatures on the back of my phone, that V20, and so in that V20 has the metal back plate and then the easy user replaceable battery right behind that. Now your phone might be constructed different, maybe you have a different material on the back, glass or something. So you'll have to kind of take that into consideration. Also following on that, you have to, I did take the temperature at the back of the phone. Now you're probably going to say, well, the important um, spot where you need to see that temperature drop is back by the SOC and, and the, yeah, and all the computer bits. Yeah, I get that. But I took the temperature where I could and without getting an external thermometer somehow in all that circuitry that's just what I could do so you're gonna to have to kinda of again extrapolate to see what you think it would do at the important area okay and then let's talk about the modes I used now you saw that I only used turbo mode for that last test which was just listening to the fan and you might ask well why don't you use turbo mode to see how much more cool it would make the phone my thought behind that was I wanted to see what the device did when it was doing its own regulation of temperature, you know, turning the fan on and off and all that. So, all right, and then let's talk about for the gameplay and the test um, amount of time and that. So, 
Yes, I'm sure there's games out there that are way more resource intensive, hence heat up the phone more than Shadow Fight 3, okay? So, yeah, and also, again, I played it in a room that was pretty dark, so if I wanted to really to strain the phone, I could play it in a well-lit room, hence having the screen have to be extra bright, but I did, I tested what I did. So, All right, so in conclusion, would I recommend this device? Well, based on what I've seen so far, and keeping in mind that I could probably get more performance out of it by using turbo mode, I'd say, yeah, it's a good deal for the money. Now, since I talked about money, let's, how much does it cost? Well, with the sellers I've been shopping with, and keep in mind the price you pay is going to be based on who and where you get it from, but at least for my sellers, I've seen this listed as high as 50, so that's 50 US dollars, but I think you can probably do better on the price than that. So probably do some uh, compare, um, comparing pricing and also um, maybe a little negotiation with your seller. And let's say you get it down to, um, what, $35. And at that, I think it's actually a really good deal. So, so far I'm liking it. And also, I, um, since this is a brand, um, a brand that, you know, is not just a fly-by-night type brand, I think there is some reassurance of getting it from this company as opposed to a no-name one. 